Well, good evening, and thank you for joining me once again for this this quiet little time of, of praying Compline, the, that, that service that is so very ancient and can be found in the back of our, our Book of Common Prayer, and it uh, can be found on page 722. Today is July the 1st. It's hard, it's hard to believe, but it is. And um, as many holidays are, they are often filled with a, a bit of busyness and hecticness. And anyway, that's what's happening today. Many people will have been celebrating Canada Day um, celebrations I just felt a little bit subdued in my Canada Day celebrations. There's just been um, a lot of heaviness going on in our in our country, and a lot of deep sadness, and uh, for a past that certainly wasn't perfect. And so, I just feel kind of a little subdued tonight, and uh, that's okay. We are invited to come before God with whatever it is. Um, that, that we feel and uh, to enter into that um, into those moments with that letting go just laying down um, laying down whatever it is and that's what's so lovely about Compline it's what I think is so lovely about Compline at the end of the day we we revisit that moment um, that moment when our lives will come to an end and we will lay all of the burdens down. We will lay completely um, all of those words of surrender. And uh, and it just, it's a, it, it, yeah, it's just laying down those those burdens and, uh, and finding rest, deep rest, knowing that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as we are, as our book says, caught up in all of the chances and the changes of a, of a world, we can still find our rest, um, our rest in the one that is, that is God. And so we begin this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Creator, Redeemer, Sanctifier, the one who is all goodness, all wisdom, and all agency. I'm Reverend Dr. Gail Marie Henderson, and I am the incumbent of the parish of Muskoka Lakes, Anglican Parish of Muskoka Lakes, and I am on faculty at Thornlow University in Sudbury, as well as I am a longtime associate. Uh, at the Sisters of St. John the Divine in uh, Toronto. And it, I, I, I really believe it was my time at, at the convent with the Sisters that I um, uh, discovered Compline and have, in, and have learned to embrace it in its, um, in it, it just, I, it just keeps offering more and more to me the, the older I get. And so we begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And our the psalm that I'm going to pray tonight is psalm number one. And I will, as I always do with our Book of Common Prayer, I try to um, shift the language to be uh, inclusive language. And as I meet language that is, um, I'm going to name it for the more colonial language, 
I will try to shift the language and uh, eh, we'll see how that works. Let us pray. Blessed is the person that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, and hath not sat in the seat of the scornful. But his, but the delight is in the law of the Lord, and in God's law does he meditate day and night. And we shall be like a tree planted by the waterside, that bringeth forth his fruit in due season, whose leaf also doth not wither, and look whatsoever he doth, it shall prosper. As for the un ungodly, it is not so with them, but they are like the chaff, which the wind scattereth away from the face of the earth. Therefore the ungodly shall not be able to stand in the judgment, neither the sinners in the congregations of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And we return to our to page seven twenty two. And from a word from Jeremiah. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. This beautiful hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanton favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, Hide us under the shadow of thy wing. Preserve us, O Lord, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Anuk Demitis. There's a number of times that people have asked, older people, have asked that this be read at their uh, at their funerals, their celebration of life. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers and our mothers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All goodness, all wisdom, and all agency. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We, um, yes. we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Triune One, that we have sinned in thought, in word, and in deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, awaken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. And the collect that we will pray tonight, we will use the fourth Sunday after Trinity. This is on 223. O oh God, the protector of all that trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us thy mercy that thou being our leader, our mentor and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our Lord. Amen. Just the thought of losing love, essentially love in eternity, is just the thought of the emptiness of that. Um, this is a very, like all of Cramner's col colics, they're, they're very powerful. They're very succinct, but they're also very powerful if we allow some of their, the words and the images and the thoughts that they, uh, that they put forward. Um, yes, that we not lose the things eternal. Mm. The collect for protection. 
I quite enjoy these uh, these collects, so I always like to pray a few of them. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, your child, our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the sons and daughters of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the chances and the changes of this fleeting world may repose, may rest upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay down in peace and we will take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, creator, redeemer, sanctifier, bless and preserve us. Amen. So be it. Sleep well, and God bless.